did that show change a lot in the uh, in in the process? I mean, did you did you go out of town with it, and did you rewrite it a lot? Were there songs added to it? Yeah. Yes. Yes, I remember one particular incident which just so impressed me. Uh, we had a song called The Bum One, uh, which was after LaGuardia had done his first campaign and nobody expected him to win, but he did. We had this song for the, the, the hack politicians to sing, they were so surprised, The Bum One. And Abbott did not like the song, he didn't think it would work, so he said, no, we're not going to open with that. And we kept asking, you know, can't we try it out? And he said, what we will do is this, we're going to New Haven, we will open without the song, but after we've opened, then we'll rehearse the song and put it in, but I'm not gonna waste the producer's money by doing an orchestration. It'll be done with piano and bass and drum, and we'll see whether it works. So they did, they, and I stood next to Abbott when they tried it, and I looked at the stage and I thought, oh, he's right, it doesn't work. And I turned to him and I started to say, Mr. Abbott, and he turned to me and he said, Sheldon, he said, I was wrong, it's gonna work, but you gotta do this, this, and this to it. <laughs> and I thought, oh my God, I hope that in my lifetime, in my career, I can get to the point where I can be so objective, not scared to death opening night, you know, that I can look and think, oh, this can be fixed. He was extraordinary that Yeah, night. he was. And you did your next show with, with Abbott as well. Yes, Yes, Tenderloin. that's right. Tenderloin. And that taught me a big lesson uh, we had a bad opening night in New Haven? New Haven. New Haven. And we had a meeting in George Abbott's room after that. And Abbott, who was the soul of candor, he said, gentlemen, I had an idea, a concept for this show, and it doesn't work. Anybody got any ideas? And this was a revelation to me because up until that time, I had never really studied the book. I had read the book to see where the songs went. And I'm thinking, don't look at me. And I thought, I will never be in this position again. If I ever get to do another show, I'm going to know what the book is, and I'm going to try and find out where I think it's weak and where there might be problems, and I'm going to try and see whether I can offer, have any solutions in mind. So that was a real object lesson, because I just didn't know.